Good morning, everyone. We'll dry today, but tonight, tomorrow, another low pressure system, another cold front, so more snow to talk about. But before we talk about the snow, let's start with the day. We're starting out with mostly sunny skies. Eventually, skies are going to become mostly cloudy this afternoon. I think that's going to occur first in the southeastern part of the area and last to the north and west. So because cloud cover is going to be increasing first to the south and east and because winds are going to be out of the east today, those chilly lake waters holding temperatures down right next to the lake. Milwaukee, we're seeing Kenosha, looks like highs just in the low 40s. But most of us, mid to upper 40s, and where the cloud cover is going to increase last, not going to rule out some low 50s. Boscoville, Dodgeville, Platteville. Not much wind today, just a light breeze gusts around 15 miles per hour. So let's take a look at 7 o'clock this evening. And what I want to stress is don't cancel your Friday evening plans. Look at 7 o'clock. We are still dry. The earliest we could start to see a snow or initially maybe a rain shower in the southeastern part of the area is 10 o'clock this evening. So I'll mention the chance of beginning around Lake Geneva, Racine, Kenosha at 10 o'clock, but most of us probably still dry. Now by the time we get to 1 a.m., now we're talking about scattered mostly snow showers, maybe still a little bit of rain for a little bit longer in the southeastern part of the area, but it's possible that even at 1 a.m. it may still be dry in Madison. So only if you're going to be out late tonight in the southeastern part of the area is the snow going to become impactful. If you're just going to be out early this evening, no worries. So don't cancel your <laughs> evening plans. But the snow is going to be filling in during the overnight hours. And now we're looking at 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. And we are talking about widespread light to moderate snow and pockets of heavy snow. And it's going to be breezy, so blowing snow. Now, fortunately, most of us may still be asleep or not having to go to work or school so you can just sit inside and watch the snow come down. But do have to mention, if you do have to venture out tomorrow morning, do give yourself extra time to reach your destination because visibilities are going to be reduced and we are going to see some snow-covered roads. Now, the peak is going to be in the early morning tomorrow. I think already by 11 a.m. the chance for heavy snow uh, going away and we'll probably see some gaps starting to develop but overall still a lot of light to moderate snow coming down at 11 a.m. But by 2 o'clock I think the story starts to change. We're going to be transitioning to just isolated snow showers mainly in the eastern half of the area so significant gaps showing up. And I do think by 5 o'clock tomorrow afternoon all the snow coming to an end, even in the eastern part of the area. It's also going to be about 5 o'clock that we actually hit our high temperatures. Not as warm as today because of the cold front. Most of us are just reaching the upper 30s, low 40s, maybe in the western part of the area, making it into the mid 40s. And because it's going to be breezy, gusts 20, 25 miles per hour, yeah, feeling about five degrees colder than this. Fortunately, though, once we get into the evening hours, the breezy conditions going away. So, how much snow? Well, there's going to be quite the variation. Let's start with the low numbers and work our way to the high numbers. For Viroqua, Boscobel, it is going to be less than an inch. Maybe just a dusting. But the forecast gets trickier as you go to the east because ultimately it's going to depend on the exact track of this low pressure system. So if it's a little bit more to the east or to the west, that's going to impact how much snow we see. So let's talk about the possibilities for Baraboo. Looks like one to as much as two inches. For Portage, as little as an inch, but maybe as much as three inches. Madison. Low end looks like two inches, but I'm going to leave in the possibility for as much as four inches of snow. I think that's the case for Monroe as well. And notice these totals only going up as we go to the east for Beaver Dam, three to five inches. Watertown, four to six inches. Lake Geneva, we're talking about six to seven inches of wet snow. Kenosha, seven to eight inches. It looks like the sweet spot. It's going to be about Milwaukee and Racine. As little as 7 inches, but possibly as much as 9 inches of snow.